Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter, and today we finally got treated to the two impact weapons, which is the hammer and the hunting horn. So let's go over what they showed us. First up here, the hammer is all about opportunities to KO a monster, so they're just showing off that being able to use the slinger with your weapon out is actually a really great change for the hammer, even more so than other weapons. Now they're going to show that you can use the slinger strong shot while you're in the middle of a charge. And the cool thing is, is that you don't lose the level of the charge you are at. So you can charge up to a level 3, which they do here, hit the strong shot, then unleash the level 3 all in one move. Which is great because the strong shot from the slinger can stack her enemies. And finally, after you do a level 2 or level 3 charge from the hammer, you're able to do a claw attack. And this will allow you to clutch onto the monster. And they're showing off here that you actually spin forward and do KO damage as you spin. So being able to clutch onto the head of a monster, you're going to be doing KO just getting onto the clutch state. And then from there, of course, you can do a heavy attack, which will tenderize the part that you hit. And for a limited period of time, that part of the monster will take additional damage. Mmm, so good. And now we're on to one of my favorite weapons, which is a hunting horn. And I gotta stop and say, look at the design of that horn. That thing is awesome. Okay, going in, they're showing off the slinger again. It just adds in a lot more versatility to these weapons. And now they're showing that he's just doing the clutch out of nowhere. So that's pretty cool. He's able to move up to the head and check out this awesome attack. <laughs> it kicks him right in the face. I don't know whether or not moving after a clutch attack is exclusive to the hunting horn or if all the weapons can do it, but I thought it was cool to finally see that. And that awesome kick to the face is just awesome. Boom! <laughs> and that will, of course, tenderize parts. And now they're adding in an even bigger buff for the weapon, which is a new thing called Echo Waves. There's an Echo Wave attack, which you can do after any other attack. It just seems like something you can string in there. The Echo Wave will generate a special note that goes onto the staff on the top of the screen. And if you play a song that utilizes an Echo Wave, it not only gives brand new effects which are brand new to this game, but it also leaves a Echo Wave bubble. And this bubble is pretty much like a residual song that anybody can go and touch and get the effects of the songs that you did. And the articles from Japanese media sites also confirm that if you do an encore with a song that uses an Echo Wave, it will produce a stronger version of the bubble as well. In order to show off how cool these Echo Wave songs are, they actually tweeted out one of the new ones. What this one does is leave a bubble which will give any hunting horn user that touches it movement up fast and any other normal hunter that touches it evasion up. That is an incredibly powerful effect to give the team. And the fact that it's residual is really cool and allows people to go and grab that effect at their own leisure. And now my thoughts. Honestly, the hammer has always been about simplicity, so the fact that they're not trying to add in a whole bunch of new crazy moves is a good sign, and they never have in any of the past games. Being able to use that strong shot while you're in the middle of a charge is going to be game-changing for the weapon and make it much easier to land those heavy KO attacks. And the fact that the Clutch Claw itself is a KO stun attack move and you'll spin to their face just makes it even that much more powerful, and I do think that this is going to be a return in form as the hammer will be the KO King move over charge blade. As for hunting horn, I just love that they keep buffing this weapon because no one uses it, and it's so powerful even as a solo weapon to begin with. Um, I love the new echo wave. It's a cool attack that you can do and you just string into your combos. I love that they're now adding in a whole brand new breath of songs. I know that might make it a little bit harder for some people to remember what songs you might have. But utilizing the Echo Waves is definitely going to be worthwhile because being able to do a residual song that you can go and just keep doping yourself with these sort of, you know, game-changing effects that will enhance you and other hunters is awesome and it's going to lead to a lot more strategic play and a lot more aggressive, I think, buffing of everybody on the team. Remember, Hunting Horn is there to buff yourself and to kick butt. Anybody else who's with you just gets to join in on all the fun, so make sure you try the weapon out. Anyway, see you guys again tomorrow for what I think will probably be Lance and Gunlance.